This part demonstrates RapidMiner's capabilities with the Hadoop ecosystem. RapidMiner provides an extension called as RapidMiner Hadoop that will allow you to work with many of the Hadoop vendors out there. The workflow is pretty straightforward. You basically define a Hadoop connection, uh, specifying which flavor of Hadoop you are using, what version, and some basic uh, URLs and ports and so on. Once that has been provided, RapidMiner provides a quick overview into the Hadoop data view. I can explore the various tables in that Hadoop cluster and I can also see some sample data and also the same, same statistics and charts overview that we saw initially are available for the Hadoop data. But the real power of the platform is over here. In our use case today, earlier we were working with the ORD data set, but in this case I've already loaded a lot of data into Hadoop using the rapid miners uh, Hadoop operators for storing in Hive. And then we are building a workflow to exactly what we did earlier. So retrieving the data, setting which target we are trying to predict, uh, some data conversions and so on, and then doing a validation on a decision tree algorithm, and then capturing the performance and seeing the results. The beauty of this workflow is once I hit the play button, this gets converted into underlying Hadoop technologies like Hive, MapReduce, etc. And the results are then delivered back to RapidMiner. When completed, you should be able to see the tree representation of the model itself. And then we can also check the performance quickly here. So as you can see, I was able to build a decision tree model using the Spark ML library without writing any code. However, if need be, this also supports including your Spark scripts, which support both R and Python languages. So I can simply add it to existing workflow and then provide my script code in line in either Python or R languages. One of the additional benefits provided by RapidMiner Hadoop process is it can use any of the models that are built on a non-Hadoop system to score on Hadoop. So you could do your data prep ETL on Hadoop, move some data out to build the models out of it, and then when the models are ready, you could send back the models to Hadoop for scoring hundreds or billions of uh, rows. You can also combine rapid minor operators with a Hadoop workflow. So I can use this operator called as single process pushdown and then use any of our 1000 plus operators inside this workflow. Rapid minor automatically coordinates working of the core operators into a Hadoop ecosystem when they are embedded in the single process pushdown operator.